Today, I'll talk about formants and harmonics. Now, to understand formants, we need to understand what is frequency or sound. Every musical sound you hear from any instrument is a complex sound wave, meaning it is made out of many, many, many sound waves combined together. It's fascinating because that is what makes the difference between one instrument to another or between my voice to your voice. And the difference is the changes that occur in the combination of all those sound waves together. Now let's try creating a simple map, just a graph to see that. First, there is the sound that we perceive as pitch. The first frequency, that is the note I am singing. Following that frequency are other frequencies that always appear in a very organized and mathematical order. All those frequencies are called harmonics. All together, they create our sound. The first harmonic is the pitch we are singing and above it is the rest of the harmonics. And all together, they give us the complex sound wave that is the sound wave I was mentioning earlier. Question is, can that simple structure that I just showed you change so much between my voice to your voice enough to give us our distinction in our voice? And the answer has a lot to do with formants. And to understand them, let's play a game. And imagine we are in Neverland and Peter Pan and Wendy need some fairy dust so they can fly. Peter Pan will jump on these columns and each time he will land on one of them, it will receive more energy and become louder and taller. Wendy can join and jump on the columns to the right, basically the higher harmonics. The tubes they are landing on are basically the harmonics in the pitch we are singing and by boosting one harmonic over another they are changing the quality of the sound just like changing one vowel to another for each vowel we sing different harmonics are being boosted Peter Pan and Wendy act just like coordinates on the map showing us which harmonics we are boosting those coordinates are what the science world likes to call formants and that is the certain frequency that will receive a boost of energy. There are more than two formants, of course. Each formant and each boost of harmonic will affect the color of our voice. But the first two, the ones I like to call Peter Pan and Wendy, are pretty important because, as I said, besides color in our voice, they also show us the difference between vowels. So that is the theory of it, the simplified map of your voice. In a more physical sense, each time we shape our vocal track differently, we boost different frequencies. Those boosts are formants. But our voice is not just the space in our throat and in our mouth. It is not just the formants. We have our vocal folds producing all those harmonics. So when we sing, we control the pitch using our vocal folds, but by changing the vocal tract, we are affecting the colors. Every time we change the space in our mouth or throat, it affects the harmonics produced in our vocal folds. Now scientists can analyze this data looking at graphs and seeing where the formants are, trying to find them. I just think it could be fun thinking about formants as Peter Pan and Wendy. And what about all the other characters in Neverland? That's for another lesson. <laughs>